Guys, you've done it. Six weeks of yoga, 10 minutes every day. Sometimes more than 10 minutes because I'm not very good at my timings, but I'm so happy. I'm so proud of you guys. And I really, really hope that you've enjoyed this challenge. And I've left one of my favorite classes until last and open your heart class. Quite hard to do in 10 minutes, but so good. Like how many of us are hunched over our desks or driving a lot. So this can be such a yummy one. Um, as always, please listen to your body. Modify as you need to. You're going to need a block. Um, a pillow will also work. And we're going to come straight onto it. Again, one of my favorite, favorite um, restorative poses. We've done it together before. Um, you're going to bring the block or pillow down and you're going to lie over it. So you're going to either bring it on its lowest setting or the second lowest setting. Don't bring it on the um, highest setting. And you're going to place it just underneath your shoulder blade. So you might need a little wiggle around to get it comfy. Plant your feet flat on the floor so you've got some stability. Bring your hands, basket them around your head. And then you're going to lean back over the block. Now, I'm not thinking that your head is going to touch the floor. And you can use your arms to help you. So if it feels too much, the elbows can come in, your hands can, you can use more of your hands to help your head. Or you can melt the elbows back and melt the skull back into your hands if you want a little bit more intensity. Draw the ribs in so you're not just feeling this in your lumbar spine. We're trying to open up the upper back here. And you can use your head and push it backwards. And we're going to do this again in a standing position. And it just feels so good for tight shoulders, tight upper backs. So use your breath to help you. Inhale, creating space in the spine. Then exhale, melting, letting go that little bit more. What are you holding on to that you can let go of? And you bring your attention to your breath and slow it down. The thoughts shooting through your mind. Can you watch them like, cl like clouds and let them go? Slowly, mindfully, you're going to roll yourself up, elbows come in towards you. Take it easy as you come out of this. It can be a little bit intense. Forearms come down. Just grab that block and place it to the side. Take a moment to just come down onto your back. Bring one hand onto the heart, one hand onto the belly. And as you lie here and breathe and just neutralize through the spine, take a moment to think of someone in your life that you love, someone that's made you strong, someone that's there for you, that lifts you up and send them a silent moment of gratitude. And then when you're ready, grabbing the knees in, either rolling onto your side or taking some rock and rolls, forwards and back. And we're gonna come all the way into an awful position. I'm using my microphone, sorry. Bringing your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. As you inhale, pull back with the hands, arch the spine, lift the tailbone. As you exhale, push the ground away, round through the back, puff up all the way through the back. Inhale, breathe the heart forward. And exhale, round it back. Inhale, breathe forward. Exhale, round back. Then slowly coming back to neutral. We're gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna do it and then I'm gonna explain why we're doing it. We're gonna reach the right leg back behind us. Keep the toes on the ground. Imagine you have a tray of drinks on your pelvis and as you exhale, lift that leg from your glute so your right glute is working. Bend the knee and then start to take little pulses, drawing the belly in, squeezing the bum. 
So what we're doing here is we're working our glute maximus and our glute maximus helps to stabilize our pelvis and extend our hip. So in back bends, and if you've done any of my one hour, one hour plus back bend classes before on the app, then you'll know and you'll hear me talk about this and you'll know what I'm about to say, but we need our glutes in black back bends. When you hear someone saying, relax your glutes, please don't. We need them to be strong to keep us safe. We wanna make sure that the, it's not just our lumbar spine that's taking the hit. So pulse for three, two, one. Now either just hold it here or reach the hand back, the left hand back and take hold of that right foot. Keep that glute on as you push the hand into the foot. Now push the skull back and breathe into the thoracic spine, that upper spine. Holding for three, for two, and one. Slowly, hand comes down, knee comes down, and we're gonna take it to the other side. So left leg extends back. Brain in that left glute, lift from the glute. So your pelvis isn't tipping, it's your glute that's lifting. Bend the knee and start to take those little pulses. Pulse, pulse, pulse. So in traditional yoga classes, our glutes maybe aren't um, focused on as much, maybe just in chair pose and pose, poses like that. But our glutes are so important. And you know from my recruit, recruit the glutes class, <laughs> it's hard to keep them recruited. They like to turn off. So pulsing five, four, three, two, one. Reach back with the right hand, take hold of the left foot. Again, push one into the other, keep that left glute strong. Push back with the skull in space, breathing space into the heart and holding for three or two and one. Knee comes down, hand comes down. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Push down through the hands, lift through the sit bones. Draw the heels down towards the earth, but be okay if they don't meet the earth. Ears in line with the arms. Spine nice and neutral, front ribs drawing in. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, take a step or a hop to the front of the mat. Exhale, fold. Tiptoe your feet so they're mat, for, so they're hip distance apart even. Then interlace the fingers behind your back and draw the arms down towards the floor. Opening through the shoulders, bringing length into the back body into that posterior chain. Holding here, bringing your weight onto the balls of your feet. And then slowly drop the arms and inhale, roll all the way up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Head comes up last. Okay, so keeping the feet hip distance apart, I'm gonna to come to face you guys. Reach the arms up to the sky. Take, um, clasp the fingers together. I don't know if you can see my hands. Um, index fingers released. Find length, find the glutes, push the skull back in space so you're on one plane, like there's a pane of glass in front and behind you. As you take a little bend, exhale over to the right. Inhale, brings you back through center. And exhale, take it over to the left. Inhale through center. What I said at the beginning, clasp the hands behind the head, basket them around your head, push the skull back in space, ribs in, glutes on. So you're opening through the upper spine. Then as you exhale, bring the elbows together, bend in the knees and roll down vertebrae by vertebrae until finally your knees connect with your elbows or your elbows connect with your thighs. Maybe this is enough or maybe you start to straighten your legs a little bit, breathing into that back body. Where can you let go? Where are you holding on to? Can you release? And slowly, you're gonna drop your hands and you're gonna step back into a downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts, right step forward, left knee comes down into your low lunge. Reach the arms up, cactus the arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together, squeeze that left glute and push your head back in space, bringing this into a little bit of a back bend, a little bit of a heart opener. Breathing space, lifting through the heart for three 
for two and one. Slowly come up, bring your right knee down to meet your left, going towards camel pose. So let's start with a half camel and we're gonna do another one and you can come into a full camel then. So bring your hands onto your sacrum, fingers pointing down or maybe to the sides. Roll the shoulders back and lift through the heart, glutes on, lifting through the quadricep. So it's a real feeling of lift up rather than going backwards. If you want to, you can drop your head or you can keep it lifted like me. For three, breathe, two and one, coming up through center, left foot steps forward, arms rise, cactus the arms, right glute on, push back with the skull, squeeze the shoulder blades together and down as you start to do a gentle heart opener, grounding down through the left foot, breathing the heart up towards the sky. Three, two, and one, coming up, coming back to camel pose. So starting exactly the same way, option to bring your hands down onto your ankles. Remember, don't bring this all into the lumbar spine. If you feel a pinching, try squeezing your glutes. If that doesn't work, please ease off. Our bodies are too precious. So roll the shoulders back, lift through the heart, thighs on, core in, glutes on, maybe reaching back for the heels, lifting through the heart, letting the head go if that feels good. When you're ready, gently using your core to bring yourself up, sit down onto your heels, bring your hands onto your thighs, take a huge breath in, and exhale, let it go. One more time, inhale. And exhale, as you release, coming into our final pose, which is gonna be child's pose. So bring your forehead down towards the earth, using as many props or blocks or pillows as you need. Get super comfy and come back to your breath. And as you lie here in child's pose, take a moment to come back to your breath Come back to your body. And I want you to take a moment to slow down and look how far you've come. And ending this whole series with one of my favorite readings. Someone once told me to always live for the little things in life. Live for 5 a.m. sunrises and 5 p.m. sunsets, where you'll see colors in the sky that don't usually belong. Live for road trips and bike rides with music in your ears and the wind in your hair. Live for days where you're surrounded by your favorite people who make you realize that the world is not a cold, harsh place. Live for the little things because they will make you realize that this is what life is about. This is what it means to be alive. I have so much love for all of you. Thank you so much for letting me take you on this yoga journey. Stay here for as long as you have in child's pose and I will see you on the mat again soon.